NBLD is a trending stock as it skyrocketed by over 5000% in the past week. So where is the stock headed and should you buy? Keep watching as we go through the company's details as well as recent news all the way to my chart analysis and price prediction. But before we do that, subscribe to our channel Stocks 101 for regular stock market updates. Nestbuilder.com is merging with Renewable Innovations, a market leader in the clean fuel energy system industry, and it got announced on 1st December bringing trading volumes of over a million shares, with prices hitting the moon, going from about 13 cents to a high of 75 cents the same day at a peak of $3.67 on Friday. The market cap is only $15 million with big room for growth and a huge upside. CEO Alex Alexanian showed excitement on the partnership and praised renewable innovations highly. In our opinion, this company might be the next big thing as it shows similar patterns to other trending small cap stocks. With all that in mind, let's analyze the charts. So as you guys can see right here, we're now in the one day chart for NBLD. And as always, we'll first analyze the one day chart, then the one hour chart, and to end it off, we'll get the five minute chart. But right off the bat, we can see that, you know, there's nothing much to analyze because the stock never really got any volumes. And even when it did, they were pretty dry, like 50,000, 7,000, right? It was only over here that we got a 1.977 million share traded volume and 2 million shares over here but right now we seem to be falling down and why is that so we'll discuss that in a minute but before that we'll have to understand how the stock has been performing ever since well November last year right so we can see that first up well as you all know low volumes right 20,000 shares traded 500 400 like that Right, so of course the stock's price movements don't really indicate any trends because, well, the volumes were just too low. Right, the earnings, negative, and as far as I checked, right, I did my own research, and the stock price is, or rather why am I talking about the stock price, the stock, or rather the company's profitability is a negative 2000%, and that's why they had to be rescued pretty much by renewable innovation i guess was that's what the company's called i even forgot the name i'm sorry but you know that's why they had to go for the merger and even when they did i believe that they only have two or three employees at the moment that's what my research told me right but the, you know the cool part is that over here let's say this person that bought the stock you know the 115,000 shares or even 100,000 shares at let's say what was the price over here like 10 cents even right let's assume it was 10 cents he made 25x gains on his ten thousand dollars that's honestly crazy right but then again over here ever since pretty much may or june this year we stopped we literally stopped getting any volumes right the stock prices crashed of course went down all the way four cents or rather well yeah that's four cents three cents right those levels really really bad situation right another earnings report right that's i believe it's worse than before no it's a bit better but again it's bad right but right here is when we really changed things up going from a price over here of 0 0.04 i believe right four cents to a price of let's see let's see we went all the way up to a 10,000% gain pretty much, going to a top of $3.66, falling down all the way, ending the day off at a 6,300% gain at $24, or rather $2.44. Then we started today at $2.51, up 6,500%, and we're getting a much deserved pullback, right? We're currently down 10%. Why is this happening? Well, it's pretty obvious, right? The people that bought in over here at this price, of course, want to book their profits and get out of the stock now that they're up. Like, even if I was up even 100%, I would, you know, think of closing the trade and ending it and, you know, leaving and going for a vacation because that would be a lot of money. And at the same time, the people who made like a thousand percent or two thousand, even five thousand percent returns, I'm sure that they're really really happy right now and all they want to do is just liquidate their position at whatever best price they get and for that they'll of course try to sell a bit low as well causing the stock price to go even lower right 
Is that a good sign or a bad sign? Well, it doesn't really matter. As long as we can continue getting good volumes, which, well, I don't think we will, right? Because we got 814,000 shares traded over here. And I believe 100,000 of those would have been a sell order. And that man made off with great money. But anyways, or even woman, right? It could be anyone. But anyways, um, considering the fact that the stock is not exactly fundamentally or financially strong and it's just getting a merger right now first to understand what a merger is right of course renewable or whatever that company is renewable innovation i believe right that company i'm sorry i'm bad at names right i can't help it now that company will help this company that's nestbuilder.com recover and become better right in all ways so once it recovers in the fundamental aspect of course long-term holders might think of investing in the stock and kind of holding it for a year or two years or five years right but that definitely is not the option right now i don't even think that you know someone would be confident in holding this stock for a month right this is not a bad thing necessarily because it's just so hyped up right now it's just so inflated right now that you know many might think that it's a bubble right that's what i'm trying to say right it's not necessarily that i want to say that the company or rather the stock will go down i just want to say that there's a huge risk right even you know an even bigger risk than mmtlp or muln or amc right that's the type of risk that you're talking about because if the stock goes down it's going to go down back in a sense and that's going to cause you a, you know a lot of pain right that's going to be a 99 percent fall so of course we won't consider that though right now. I mean, we would, we will consider it, but we won't um, necessarily anticipate it, right? So as long as we get good volumes, we're currently at 128,000. If we end the day off above a million shares traded, I personally would be very happy and I would probably think that it's just a normal pullback in the process of a bull run. But if you ask me if the stock can go any higher, I personally, well, it can go higher, right? Of course, that's why you know titled this video and made the thumbnail the next big thing but you know we do need to consider the fact that volumes will play the biggest role in indicating whether this is a hit or a miss right because getting a million or two million shares traded for two days is not a big deal if we can continue this for a week right this entire week it's monday right now right or well yeah it's monday right now if we can continue this over a million shares traded every single day up until Friday, I personally will most definitely think of trading and investing into the stock. But of course, with that, we'll have to jump on into the one hour chart to see exactly what's going on in the short term, and then we'll jump on to the five minute chart. And now that we're in the one hour chart, we can see that right here on Monday, or rather Thursday, well, why did I say Monday? On 1st December, we got over, you know, 838,000 shares traded in the first candle itself, after which we got a green pin bar right a green pin bar candle on the lower side which indicated some bearish momentum but that did not happen it failed right it was followed by an even bigger green candle got a small pullback right got a double top fell down eventually 0.94 was a resistance it has now probably turned into support well why probably it has definitely turned into a support now and we went down all the way around 73 cents right came back up 81 cents that's good close the day off at 81 cents then on 2nd december this is where the real stuff happened right again crazy volumes 521,000 shares 200,000 shares 326,000 shares right 336,000 shares i'm sorry for that we did go up got a crazy candle right this is a you know somewhat of a reverse engulfing pattern because the next candle how you know how, even though it was pretty much at the same level it was shorter or rather smaller than the previous no wick candle pretty much right that is a reverse engulfing pattern and it indicates strong bullish momentum and we did not make a lower low over here right this was the low that we made after that went up did not make a lower low fell down over here around 1.72 right went up again got a double top now at the current situation right if we close this candle off in a you know somewhat of a red candle we might get another red candle 
after that because of course you know we did go up by a crazy ton so of course a pullback is you know to be expected so once we get this crazy pullback we'll probably you know be lined up for something even crazier and this is again just what i believe i could be wrong so this is not financial advice this is a really risky stock and i want you to you know i want to pin that in your brain that this is a really really risky stock so only mess with it if you are you know kind of risk tolerant and only with the money that you're willing to lose but now for the real fun we'll jump on into the five minute chart and see what's exactly going on in the current charts and now that we're in the five minute chart we can see that right here right we fell down in a single candle from the price of 2.52 down all the way to 2.09 indicating a 17 percent fall in a single candle but now we seem to be recovering because we've made a bottom over here at 1.84 and then we got supported around two dollars right will we fall below two dollars there are two questions right there are two scenarios rather so if we you know get another green candle then continue to fall and fail to break above this level we'll probably be in for a small bearish trend right because of course we did go down a bit right we did break the support at two dollars it was pretty strong right two dollars is pretty strong support but at the same time, you know, with volatile stocks such as this one, support and resistance levels don't really work. So I personally will be hoping that, you know, we indicate or rather we start off a bull trend from over here. But even if we get a pullback, it's not a bad thing, right? It would only be, you know, it would be a better scenario. It would be a better opportunity for people who actually missed out on the previous rally to get in. But then again, right i could be wrong so remember that this most definitely was not financial advice and you should always do your own research before you trade if however you enjoyed my analysis be sure to hit the like button if you did not enjoy it be sure to hit the dislike button you can subscribe to our channel stocks 101 for more such videos and as always i will see you guys in the next one